Hi. This is Smith Blog Real Life. I told you I was gonna fucking make this. This is not me bullshitting. This is pretty much real life. Probably the only time I won't be full of bullshit. I'm severely depressed. <laughs> Chemotherapy makes it worse. I'm in love with someone who's with someone else. I really do love her, but she doesn't return the thing because she's with someone else. People mess around with this suicide thing. Oh, it's faking. No, no. Fucking took a shitload of pills. I tried suicide before. When I was 14, I tried to hang myself. Fucking rope broke. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm jumping to one subject to another, but I really don't know how to start this. And they say, oh, you must be joking about, you know, his parents. No, they really don't care about me. They actually said, you know, you're, you know, how could, you know, we raise such a failure like you? You know, you're, you're a big disappointment. I can't believe. You know, you really haven't done anything with your life. Never said they loved me. The two people I, I know cared about me, my grandpa and my great-grandpa. Great-grandpa died last month. And my grandpa passed away last night, which was nice since I had to find out about it. Not from my parents, but from a message on the answering machine they left. Back to this chick I love. I really do love her. She's with someone else. Just, just, I care about her immensely. Because of that, you know, I cry myself to sleep most nights. I don't know if you can see this or that, but that's where I've cut my wrists trying to kill myself. You know, I don't like feeling this, the fact that I'm in love and the fact that I know I won't be able to have her. I'm tempted just to fucking just stop the chemo tell her that it's not working. Just die. Knowing that I can't be with her is just so goddamn hard for me. Knowing that my parents don't love me. It, you know that no one fucking cares about me. No one does care about me. I just don't see the point of being in a world where no one fucking cares or loves you. What's the point? You know, what if I do kill myself today? Whoa, 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 what's going to go happen? I'm not going to fucking find a cure for AIDS. Get a Nobel Peace Prize or anything. I'm not going to do anything important. I mean, so what's the point? I should just do it right now. I got a shitload of fucking pills. Shitload. Goddamn pills I can just fucking down right now. I can just do it right now. Go to sleep, not wake up. I'm only happy in my dreams. And just knowing. When I wake up from a really happy dream, I wish I had died in my sleep. So I wake up to my fucking sad life. You know, because of this girl, my parents found out about it. They were fucking racist bastards. 
and they cut me off from my last fucking semester of school, so I can't go. I can't go to school. I can't graduate. I'm fucking broke. <sighs> I had only about ten grand, so what I had to do is take out a goddamn student loan. Now, right now, in my checking account, I have about $700. Oh, I'm going to have to get a job while I'm on chemo. And I don't think I'm ever going to be happy. I don't think I'm ever going to feel this way. This I feel about that one girl. Ever. I don't know what I'm going to do. One of these days, something's not going to stop me from taking some pills or pulling a trigger, or sliding, slicing my wrists open. Sad thing is, I kind of do look forward to that day. I won't be in pain anymore. I won't feel anymore. I just don't want to feel anymore. Well, this is depressing and sad. I'm never going to do this again. Well, I have to go off to get some fucking chemo in my veins. I'll post something um, funny, I guess, later.